Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, in this video, I will show you how to check this uh, uh, relief valve or lifting valve control. So, this is the adjustment of the control valve of the FD, FD25. So, this is the part of the control valve. So, the use of this is to adjust the pressure pressure for the lifting and relieving for your control valve so I will show you that uh, I will show everything details of this so that we will we will have a uh, knowledge for this without uh, analyzer because this is usually mechanical first uh, we need to dismantle this this whole assembly I actually already lost the board, the nut. Need uh, also the wrench for this. You will see. Right. So I use a uh, 8mm Allen wrench. Okay. So as you can see there is a o-ring so we need to change this because this o-ring already worn out and the rubber is not good enough because it's too hard so Maybe we will co uh, it can cause a uh, leakage to your control valves. And here, you can see here, uh, uh, tiny holes. We need to dismantle. Okay. So, you can see here, this is the pipe. Okay. So we need to clean this also. So uh, maybe there's a dirt in this hole. So it will affect your adjustment. So we need to clean. Here is the housing. Okay. So I already replaced this o-ring so if you can see that the o-ring is good already not flat and now we have a little spring here and a needle okay and here it goes it's already dismantled so what we have here is a strainer, if you can see, to the camera, and there's a hole here, yeah, hole. This is the for the hydraulic to inter, uh, to release the hydraulic. This is the passageway, the air, uh, oil jacket, and this, this small needle is the one who control here if you can see inside there's a tiny hole there so this needle will stick in just like this stick in inside and this so I will show you how to to assemble so, the position of this must be inside because you cannot put here just like that you cannot stick in so you need to here just like that and then put the 
is just like that. So, um, we have this also. This is just an example. Lang. And also, we need to replace this. Uh, maybe we will replace. Because uh, during my hydraulic, no, uh, during my hydraulic adjustment, there's a leakage coming out. There's a well. So we need to take this and replace. This will be uh, just like that. It's not already rubberized, so the, the rubber also is very hard, all brittle, already brittle. This is only my experience and my own my own testing uh. so this is if you like this video so continue watching for more then I will show you how it works to our control valve system so here I will tighten this 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 knot so that and I will try to put some pressure using my mouth <laughs> because uh, the best technician uh, will, will do everything that it can help to his troubleshooting that's why so I actually adjust this fully so that we will know how it works. So now I will apply a pressure. Uh, there, there's no coming out. So because I already, already uh, locked. So I need to re to adjust this because if there's no a pressure coming while I'm blowing this it means that uh, the oil will not also coming into the valves so you need to make sure that oil will uh, during your testing you need to apply pressure so that if there is a passageway so the oil also can passage so like this there's no uh, totally black so I need to adjust yeah. until you reach the point that uh, you can already blow with a uh, pressure so there is a uh, coming Be this is the best way for me for me this is the best way to to adjust this because uh, maybe if you don't know how to adjust these bulbs maybe you lose more the pressure of pump will come more if you lose uh, you open you open it wider so the also the pressure of oil will come strong and high pressure so it can cause your sails or cylinders leaking or burst so any hoses it can cause damage to your house. that's why we have this to control the pressure because uh, the pump also, the pump itself cannot control the pressure it has a uh, also 
from the pump to tank then control valve to tank so it will continue the cycle so this is a uh, uh, this is the most important because this is the controller it it will uh, the his job is to control the pressure so we need only uh, not too much pressure for the valves because if you give some too much pressure in the valve uh, it, your your cylinder may be damaged or, uh, or will leak like that your, your repair kits and also the also your hoses will burst because of the high pressure so we need to adjust this so this is as a uh, example for you or reference for your control valve later on i will show you uh, i will show you that where i get this so that you have a reference for this control valve so that you may also have experience uh, you can also apply this to your own troubleshooting but this is only for my experience and this is the problem uh, lip lever is not lifting and we need to I need to show you how I will adjust this control valve that to, so that the lip lever will function so we have made the adjust for the relief valve adjustment so you can adjust here or also there. So for, for, uh, for the reference of my troubleshooting, so I will adjust it because I already adjust this before, and this is just a reference for you to to know how it works. Okay, so we will adjust. hydraulic system so now it's lifting put some accelerator axel bus okay so it's already lifting so that's the important of that 